Comrades and friends, on behalf of the Communist Party of India Marxist, on behalf of the Indian people, which are a billion strong, and on behalf of the Indian Workers Association in this country, we extend our solidarity and our greetings on this most auspicious day when we are celebrating a massive victory against imperialism, the Fatherland Liberation War. And um, I don't need to be repeating everything that has been said. Her pal is, I think, touched upon every aspect one could possibly think of on an occasion such as this. Other than to extend my personal solidarity on this occasion, because I had the pleasure and the privilege of visiting your country uh, as a delegate in the uh, World Stu uh, Festival of Student, uh, Youth and Students. Uh, 1989. 1989. 1989. 1989. Where I was um, the vice chair, I think, was it? <laughs> <laughs> we were young. We were young. We led a delegation uh, to Tuku, to the People's Republic of Korea. And uh, we had amongst us, and I'm very pleased they're also here today, we had one of our most senior youth delegates, Comrade Dylan, and the second senior, Comrade Harpal. <laughs> and I also had the privilege of my young children, they were the youngest delegates to the festival. Our daughter, I think she was eight or nine at the time, and my son, he was ten. So it's a, it's a great occasion for us, and it brings back a lot of memories when we're talking about Korea, and its fighting spirit, its people, its wonderful, joyous occasion just to be there, and to see the sacrifices being made by the Korean people for receiving all the delegates and looking after and ensuring that we had wonderful debates, debates about anti-imperialism, because that was the one center we naturally all thronged towards. Because that to us is in essence to be there in a country that symbolically is against anti-imperialism. Just, just being DPRK spells out anti-imperialism. It's another equivalent version of saying you are in solidarity with the anti-imperialist struggles, when then you have to be in solidarity with the DPRK, you have to be in solidarity with Cuba. And I think Harpal has said it quite well, that how can the DPRK ever be isolated? It has great friends, friends amongst the world, working class all over the world, who cherish the victory of the people in the DPRK. We had a slogan there, and I think the slogan is still today, Korea for us is one, and they can only be one Korea on this. I thank you.